all ready welcome to sell from home this week i'm gonna teach you a little bit more a little bit more about tapping eft emotional freedom technique i know you all have heard of it and i have showed it to you in school but i was doing a zoom session this week with the upper elementary students and they wanted to learn a little bit more so what you're going to need for this week's self session is your journal and a pen and just get ready for some EFT, some tapping. So first I'm gonna explain, cause maybe mom and dad um, haven't heard about this, but there is a technique called emotional freedom technique and it's a stress relief uh, technique and it helps with um, you know, getting, clearing out bad memories, negative memories, negative feelings, negative beliefs, um, negative thoughts. So since we are talking about putting together this emotional first aid kit for, kit for ourselves, um, I figured that EFT would be one of the you know, best tools for you to add to your first aid kit. And um, the, the EFT is very commonly known as tapping because you actually tap in certain points of your body. I know you guys have been doing a lot of tapping for years. And this um, technique is a mixture of ancient uh, Chinese medicine mixed with modern psychology. So it uses meridian points of the body, like the same points for acupressure. And then while you were tapping on those points, you are saying some statements. And some people think of those statements, the first um, round when you do the tapping, you talk about the negative statements, but it's not that they are negative statements. They are kind of the truth of how you feel. So they might be negative because maybe what you're tapping on is I'm not good enough or I'm not smart enough or someone is not my friend or um, something bad happened. So you might be tapping on some negative feelings because obviously we want to clear the negative emotions. If there are good emotions inside of us, we don't need to clear them, right? So that's why it seems like it's negative the first round. And then the second round, we use positive affirmations as we tap. And the secret, so you, I'm going to teach you how to write the scripts. That's kind of what the upper elementary students wanted to learn, how to write their own EFT scripts. So what we're going to do is in your journals, you're going to write this statement and that will be what you can use for any script at any time. So the secret is you always start with mm -hmm. um, even though, so even though, and then blank, whatever it is, I completely and totally love and accept myself. Yes, love and accept myself. So let's practice. So girls, tell me something that even though, even though, something, you completely even though, love. I don't know. Think of anything maybe negative that happened today or something that you feel, some negative beliefs. Well, I got yeah. one. Okay. Even though, um, no, you can say it all along. It's okay. Uh, um, even though that, that like, I like I was like looking at somebody else's crystal in the school. Then they got mad at me. And Ooh, yes. Okay. So even though a friend got mad at me, right? So a friend got mad at me. I completely and totally love and accept myself. What's yours? Even though. Oh, even though I was mean to 
Pollyanna. I completely and totally love and accept myself. How about you? Even though I'm not so kind all the time. Mm, even though I'm not so kind all the time. I completely and totally love and accept myself. And mine will be even though oh, I feel lonely sometimes. Oh yeah. That's yeah. I feel lonely. A lot of lonely sometimes. Okay. Or even though I lose my patience sometimes. Even though I make mistakes. Okay, so we have a few, so let's practice. So we're gonna tap and I'll show you the points. So the points, all the points, we don't need to do all of them. It's actually the top of your head, I then here above the eye. I never do the top of the head yeah, too I much because I feel either. silly when I do it, but that is a point. And then I always do this one. And then next to the side of the, of the eye, under the eye, then there's other two points in the face that's under the nose and under the lip. And then there's the collarbone. Oh, yeah. And this these points runs in both sides of your yeah, body. You can do it like so you can do both sides or just one side. And then there's another point that it's right here. But I also feel like that one is silly. And then there's this, it's called the karate chop uh, point. So I do this one, this one, this one, the collarbone, and this one sometimes. Yeah. I so like let's that. let's do a few, and it doesn't matter. There's no way to do this wrong. You can never mess this up. So let's see. We're gonna use the ones that we got here, but hopefully you were able to come up with a few on your own. And let's see what, how it goes. So even though no. a friend got mad at me, and you guys can repeat it out loud, even if it's not your statement. Okay. So even though a friend got mad at me, I completely and totally love and accept myself. Even though I was a little bit Pollyanna, mm -hmm. Pollyanna, I completely and totally love and accept myself. Even though I'm not kind, mm -hmm. I'm not so kind all the time, and I kind of get a little snappy, like a little snappy turtle. Not the best. Mm -hmm. yeah. I it really do you want to do one for you? I can do mine. Even though I feel lonely, sometimes I completely and totally love and accept myself. Or even though I lose my patience at times, I completely and totally love and accept myself. Or even though I make mistakes, or I make dumb choices or I burn my food or something, I completely and totally love and accept myself. I did yours. <laughs> so that's it. That's the first round. Then after you tapped on this first round, you do a round of positive affirmations. So let's think girls of some positive things. Is it okay for, for a friend to be mad with us? Yeah. Is that normal? It's yes. fine if you feel your feelings are feeling. It's okay for people to be upset with us sometimes. Is it okay for us to, you know, sometimes be make a little mistakes. bit snappy or make mistakes or feel lonely? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. So we can say something like... We all make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Every day is our special. No mistakes. Right? Yeah, everyone makes mistakes every every day what did you say every starts day fresh with no mistakes. starts fresh with no mistakes um what else i like to think that it's safe for us to to make mistakes or it's safe for us to feel our hard strong big feelings it's safe to feel what, you're feeling. what we feel. I like to think that we're loved and that we are enough. I like to say that to myself. Um, I'm loved. 
I'm, I'm enough. Okay, so now we tap on these ones. So it's okay for friends to be upset with us. Okay, <laughs> you can say. Um, and about you want to say one? It's okay to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Did you want to do one? It's okay to be a little snappy. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Um, it's safe for us to feel our feelings. I'm loved, we're loved, we're safe, we're enough. Does anyone want to do a tapping on the everyday, um, what did the, the beautiful sentence you said? Every day is a perfect day. Yeah, so we have a big poster. In the I see, Trista says that in her class. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone makes mistakes, I'm learning from my mistakes. I can always do better tomorrow. Yeah, mistakes aren't necessarily a bad thing. No, they're just... They're, they have gifts and lessons yeah. in all of them. I see the gifts and the lessons of my mistakes. Um, things like that. So that's the second round. And that helps our... Um, just our body to calm down. It helps us with any anxiety that we have. It helps us release bad, bad memories or negative beliefs, negative feelings. And you can learn more about it. Um, there's this amazing author, Nick Order, and I met him and he, he lives actually around here and he's a best-selling author of several books on this called The Tapping Solution. He has lots of YouTube videos and he has written children's books. He helps celebrities with their tapping, athletes. Now tapping has become very um, kind of popular among athletes and actors and you know famous people um, are doing the tapping before they perform or before a big game just to reduce stress and release any negativity and calm their nervous systems down. So you can learn more about it. I'm not an expert in this, but we have been doing it for years and you can never do it wrong. It does no harm. And it's a really, it can be really fun to do it. And it just helps us get it all out and verbalize it and express it in a way that helps us love on ourselves. So that's the lesson for this week. So let's do our spirit animal cards. Yay. Alrighty. Who has never had a chance to take one yet? Me. I, don't you, I, think, right? I think it didn't I yet. Never. Okay. So you choose one. Think of everyone that's home right now, all the students. The unicorn. The unicorn and it says use your imagination. Oh. So that's what we got this week. Use your imagination. And maybe you can use your imagination to write those scripts. Yeah. Um wonderful. Would you um close with just a ring of the bell? That's a so we can like Yeah, we forgot to meditate, but ideally you can do a little meditation before you write your script just so you can bring those things to your mind those hard feelings or negative feelings and you can think of them and then you can do a little meditation when you're writing your affirmation so you can bring to mind those positive things we kind of did the process here but we didn't really meditate on it um, but that's it you at home do your meditation it's even 30 seconds for each part of this would be perfect Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it.
three nice big breaths. Namaste. Have a Namaste. wonderful week. And we'll see you next time.